Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic and today I'm going to be answering the October question time questions. So Pancake is unfortunately unavailable to join me due to the fact that she's studying basically every given hour. But with that being said, let's jump right into Noob's 17th but actually was the first comment because I'm sorting these by reverse chronological order. So congrats, Noob. You are the first person that I answered. Next is Joshua. And Joshua says, Pad is a game where power creep is inevitable. Knowing this, what do you think would be the next level of power creep past our current collab? As a general rule, try not to say anything related to weapon assists. Instead, focus on what could make a hypothetical sub or leader the next level of power creep. Be creative. Well, a way to increase a power of any given card is either like bolstering the stats, which we have been seeing. The stat inflation has been quite high. Like there was a period of time long ago when like a thousand weighted stats I thought was quite large. Now we have things with like 1500 plus weighted stats. Like stats are inflated upwards. So in theory, those old awakenings say like a triple seven combo on a card with a much larger attack stat will be hitting almost like four seven combos potentially. That sort of thing. But another thing that I feel that could definitely accelerate power creep is creating stronger awakenings. We've seen stronger awakenings through skill boost plus, and I guess to a certain extent, like 10 combo is kind of an upgraded version of seven combo when everything hits to 10 combos nowadays. So things like that, like having like maybe even a greater time extend finger, because like there are a lot of cards that have say two movement time pluses. So two seconds of movement time. Maybe they'll introduce a single awakening that gives two seconds. And when you condense awakenings down, you're able to fit in more because we always try and populate the card to nine awakenings. So with that in mind, I feel like just creating spicier awakenings is definitely a way to go because other than that, like the very generic standard way of leader skills being improved is just having easier damage and higher effective health that is easy to tap into. And I feel like that's a place that Pad could possibly start is maybe just with the awakenings perhaps. Because it won't be as fast of a rollout. Just like say swapping, I think like, say I think I think Beach Fujin maybe has like say two of the big fingers, maybe taking those out and then in turn give that super, super finger I propose and then something else that makes her relevant. And then again, they just jump upwards in terms of relevancy, that sort of idea. Ichiban Engineering says, what do I do in life except playing pad? Been watching my videos for years, but they don't think they ever saw me mention what I do. Well, unfortunately it's not that glamorous of a story. I suffered a serious injury in 2014 and i've been in a lot of like tremendous physical pain and lots of other compounding health issues ever since so unfortunately this is kind of what i do and when you don't see me doing these things i'm probably like sitting or lying down somewhere because even just right now sitting here hurts my neck quite a bit and my back and i probably need to take like another shower because it helps at least clean myself because pain causes me to sweat quite a bit maybe too much information Super Ray 5000 says, what Japan exclusive units collabs I'd like to see in North America? I would say Star Wars because A, I'm familiar with the franchise. Yeah, it's, I'm familiar with the franchise. Like obviously if it's great and powerful, which it is, it's nice. But like being familiar with the franchise has more relevance, at least in my heart overall. Raw Bastida says, what's my favorite holiday and why? I'd say like the like Christmas time frame because... It's just is a time when like things slow down and family and friends get together and like it's just an enjoyable experience. Like you don't have to be religious or anything along those lines, but it's just like the time of year when things are like expected to be slowing down. And for that reason, I just enjoy that. And yeah, that's the main reason why I like it. Patrick G says, what are my favorite Pokemon and why is it Electra Buzz? Hmm, why is it Electra Buzz? Hmm, if I had to really think about it, what would be my favorite Pokemon? I did play for a little bit uh, Let's Go Eevee. My friend lent me it, and I was able to try it out, and it was enjoyable, and I never actually got to play the original Gen 1 Pokemon growing up because video games were evil in my household. No video games! I could maybe get like 15 minutes more of computer time if I studied hard for a math contest, which apparently I did lots of when I was younger. So yeah, didn't really have much exposure to Pokemon, so I don't really have that much personal attachment, I would say, overall, sadly. But yeah, I don't know what my favorite Pokemon like. Hmm. I like dragons, but none of the dragons seem that cool. Like Charizard's okay, Dragon Knight is, I don't know, a bit too rounded belly for my liking for a dragon. Viper is trash says, if I could have a new collab, what would it be? I feel like the Dune franchise is something that's at least currently popular right now because the new movie just came out. I haven't seen it yet. If you've watched it, let me know if it's good or not. Don't worry, it wouldn't be a spoiler because I've read the books, so I know what's going to happen. But point of the matter is, it's a franchise that I am familiar with, so I feel like that'd be kind of cool if it did exist in 
like pad that'd be pretty cool like rolling paul and like he definitely would have transforming because like he does transform throughout the book series toothy ka says appreciate all the content what do i think about trading stocks and cryptocurrency have i ever considered getting into it i like i under like i have some basic financial knowledge at but I don't feel like those types of things are a good place for someone with an unstable slash very low income level. Like investing in those riskier things like cryptocurrency, for instance, is so volatile. It's yet to be able to tolerate losses. And that's not like something I could necessarily do. Like I do save as much money every month as I can. Like I have a pack, like a pre-authorized contribution plan. Basically every day, like every like X days money is automatically taken out of my checking account and shoved away into my tfsa which is a tax-free savings account which is a thing for canadians and basically it allows me to like save without outwardly like consciously making an effort to do so because it becomes a like, quote-unquote bill so that's kind of my main approach is just like utilizing the pack and just like increasing it over time like if i feel like i'm not like if i don't spend enough in a month i'll just save it instead that sort of idea and it just grows passively and like yeah and what am I currently looking forward to the most? Are we talking about pad or like other stuff? Hard to say. I would like to watch the Dune movie. I guess that's something I just touched upon. Like, I think it looks aesthetically pleasing. And at least the first Dune book was actually great. I don't like the other Dune books so much, unfortunately. Alien Dude says, do you think looking at the answer key and trying to understand why that answer is cheating? I think it's not cheating is actually learning. It is learning if you're doing it for that purposes because sometimes like reverse engineering, so to speak, a problem can give you insight as to what it is actually tr you're trying supposed to do. Like seeing the solution with the step-by-step -step breakdown is meaningful. Like obviously in like a test situation where you're, it's not open book, that would obviously constitute as cheating. But in a non-test situation, I definitely see that as learning. Because Alien Dude says when they were younger, they used the answer key to check the answer and try to understand why their answer was wrong. They don't just get, try to get the answer out knowing how to get there. Exactly. Like, you're understanding the steps. And, like, sometimes, like, you have the start, you have the end. Maybe you can figure out the intermediate steps as you go through the rest of it. Pineapple Cone says, what do you think the ingredients of success is in the long term? And do you think failure is unavoidable in the road to success? I think for every long-term success, there's going to be a lot of disappointment. When they first tried the Ultimate Arena 3, they used to get game over a lot. Nowadays, Ultimate Arena 3 is very easy. If you long-term success, is more about trying to... Oh, I don't know why it cut off your comment, unfortunately. But in terms of long-term success, I feel like you have to stumble to grow. Like for myself, one of the fastest ways I learn is mistakes. Especially at least mistakes I make in a public manner. Like, it's always... Like, it seems to be the way it's like success happens in private, failure in public. But at the same time, it makes me remember these problems. Like, especially streaming pad. I die constantly on stream. You don't see those deaths necessarily on YouTube, but I do die and it can be sometimes frustrating. But at the same time, if I'm dying to reasons that are like not just say player skill issues, so to speak, like it wasn't my direct fault. It was like, say, mismanagement of planning, active skills, etc., or whatever it may be. I learn from it. And then the next run, I avoid that pitfall. So I definitely feel like failure is a road to success. Like another thing I could use is say miniature painting. Like I do paint miniatures quite slowly, unfortunately, and I've made mistakes constantly. But the thing is, it's paint just paint over top of it like you're gonna have to learn like i feel like for most things you have to learn the hard way like i'll go back in time even further like i used to play badminton competitively and i would lose of course because i wasn't the best and i would try and figure out why i lost and like a lot of times it probably was my fault and it's a matter of understanding that was your fault and then working towards addressing those shortcomings that helped me improve overall Omarion says, if Earth has rings, do you think life on Earth would be different? I'm not sure like what the scientific ramifications of Earth's or, like rings around a planet is. But what about the, if the sun turned into a black hole? Oh, I think Earth would be different. If the sun is a black hole, we're all gone. I'm not saying we're all like... <laughs> we also need the sun's light to survive. If the sun goes out, it's over. Yeah. Point of the matter is, I'm not sure how the rings would impact it. Maybe it would make for prettier pictures of the night sky, perhaps. But sun, black hole, we're all done. And then they say, if life on Earth is different, what do you think the difference will be? I don't think rings would make a difference if it just aesthetically changes what you see overall. 
Superman says, do you think people invent holidays just to make money? For Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or Father's Day, it's supposed to be a day where we show our love to those respective individuals. But shouldn't every day be like that? Not just one day of the year? I agree with that. Like, I don't place too much emphasis on those things. Like, I believe I'm just making every day happier for, say, Pancake, for instance, because she's, like, an incredibly important aspect of my life. And... I just try and make her day special if at all possible. Like what I do is I have little post-it notes and I write on the post-it note like a little notification heart symbol and then inside like a cheesy like inside joke of some sort. And I just kind of hide that around the house and we f and she finds it eventually and then it's like, oh yay, he loves me. And like, like a little thing to perk up her day so to speak. Like for instance, like I put one in like the fridge on top of her lunch she's gonna take to work. She sees that on her way out to work day is possibly a happier overall so like i do agree every day should be about that and but at the same time people like holidays and celebrations because it gives labels and titles and we definitely do like labels and titles superman continues saying that they've been in a relationship before and they've always showed that i like her they tried to get hang out with her when me and we're both free and oh no the comment got cut off and i have no idea why that's the case well yeah but like i feel like holidays definitely have been commercialized heavily because it, we are to a certain extent guilt tripped into buying things to show our affection when affection is not necessarily from materialistic things but we're led to believe that materialistic things brings happiness it does make me happy but it's not the only thing that could make someone happy i feel milk w galaxy says what are some good ways to study something if you're having difficulty remembering something what is the easiest way to overcome it they want to find a really good study techniques. What has worked for me in the past? Okay, from like schooling, academics, rote repetition helps. I'm gonna go like extreme basics with like flashcards to learn my multiplication tables. Like I would have like say five by six written on there and I would know 30 because it's written on the back. And eventually it all started clicking. So that helped. So flashcards and things like that. But another thing that has helped, especially Pancake now who's also studying, and I agree with this, is when you write something out, you tend to remember it better. I am, I was born in 1990, so I'm definitely on the older side, potentially. And I grew up without the internet for a good chunk of my life. So I had to use pen and paper like some sort of barbaric savage. But at the same time, I never got accustomed fully to like the computer experience for like learning stuff. I know how to type, but I don't necessarily absorb information well if it is me typing writing it out seems to ingrain it in my memory better and again i don't know what's better for you but like writing it out maybe typing it out narrating it ta talking out loud actually helps as well so i feel like those sort of things can help improve for good study habits and also create a favorable work station or space because for instance like this computer here is kind of where i do most of my stuff like everything's here like the like pad content creation I do and like just computer usage as well. But if I had say like a separate space and if you have a way to make a separate space or say like just a computer only for studying, it makes it harder to have distractions. But let's say like you use your computer to play various video games on it and whatnot. Well, when you sit here, you might think, well, I wanna play video games, but I'm supposed to be studying. So creating a healthier environment like that could be meaningful. Raman says, why can't I steal the magic stones from my mythlets? I own them. So technically we should be able to steal our own stones. Gung Ho is a scam. That is definitely a truly puzzling question overall, I feel. Bogdan Radoy says, am I a fan of philosophy? And if yes, what schools do I adhere to? I wouldn't say I'm a fan of philosophy because I don't even know what the schools of whatnot I could possibly adhere to. So I can't unfortunately answer the question. Bob Cheneff says, do I think practicing something, even if things look not as good as you think, it will be a good idea? I think to get good at something, you have to experiment and find out what works and what doesn't. What I think is, you definitely have to experiment. You have to like fail and trip over yourself to learn how to be better. One thing that I found helpful is recording myself. Like a good way, like for Pat, it's like, well, I just died. Well, what happened? I can go back and see what I did wrong. Conversely, let's expand that to say like sports. If like, I didn't really have video recording, like I don't have any recordings of me like playing or training, but I feel like it would be helpful to see visually what I'm doing wrong or areas I could improve upon. So if it's possible, maybe try and record yourself doing whatever thing is you want to do and like watch it and see what areas you could possibly improve upon. But you definitely have to practice something like no one is gonna be born perfectly innately talented, like hard work goes into it and like it's just not something you necessarily see. 
Sukpal Baga says, is there any Belial substitute? They're team building. They feel like it critical for all their teams. It again depends on the team in question. Like sh what she brings is full cleric style healing or um, by, um, active skill. So bind, awoken bind and unmatchable. She also brings a healing solution with those enhanced hard orbs and four skill boosts with a low base cool engine inherited delay over. So it depends what aspect they're being used for that respective team. Which thing are they being used for? Did you need a healing solution? Because if you did not, Gung Ho Belial is less needed. Conversely, if you need a healing solution, it might be a bit harder to replace Gung Ho Belial, especially if it's not, say, like a green team where Alina is just an outstanding cleric. But again, it all depends on the team you're utilizing her and which aspect are you leveraging her from. Like, is it the fast cleric active skill, the poison resist skill boost, low cooldown? It all depends. Super Duper Allen says, how do I get all those skill boosts for the UG Mojito teams? You're new to the game. Skill boosts are just an awakening found on a given card. And when I say effective skill boost, which is possibly something I'll say quite often, I mean something that helps you get your active skills charged up. That's not the skill boost awakening. That could mean delays or haste or shields. Because if you delay a spawn, they're not going to hit you and you're not going to die. That's kind of like, that is stalling safely and for free. That's like an effective skill boost. Um, haste, it just instantly charges up your skills, same idea. And then conversely, big shields allow you to tank the hit and not die. Similar idea. So it's a matter of finding enough of those on the team to transform in safety. And then finally, Spencer Skirt Skirt says, do you think Pat is a health in a healthy state right now? I'd say it's reasonably healthy overall. Like we get a great influx of new events we have lots of things to roll in they give lots of magic stones out the only like thing that i would say is frustrating at this point is rare invades for evolution materials aka fagan rye and mieta it's a terribly distressing situation like you could play 10 times in a row and you never actually get to get the invade and then you feel sad inside after all with that being said this concludes the question time answering. So hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen have a truly fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck in your own pad adventures and happy puzzling.